For our next guest, Sam, being faced with a devastating diagnosis left her with the biggest decision of her life. I went in for my mammogram, then I got a call back saying we need to take a, another look, which has happened before because I've always had dense breasts. I'm 43, I'm healthy, but the minute I walked in, I could just read a body language. I said, how many masses are there? She said, two. I texted my husband and I said, babe, I think I've got cancer. This is the day my life changed. I didn't know how bad it was. I didn't know if it was raging through my body, pumping through my blood into my brain. The worst fear was that my boys wouldn't have a mom. I mean, that's really scary. Do mom, I love you so much. You have to stay strong to fight the big C word. Wouldn't even say cancer. That word for children, I think, is so paralyzing. You being the best mom I could ever have. You have two choices. You can fall apart or you can just kick into gear. I needed an oncologist, I needed a plastic surgeon I wasn't going to sort of be put on this conveyor belt and go, I, I needed to figure out a plan for me. Christy Funk, her name was given to me by many people. We sort of reached the conclusion that the double mastectomy was the way to go. And then she called me two days later and she said, we did find cancer in your sentinel lymph node. We need to take out more nodes when, when we do your mastectomy to see if it's traveled further. It's such a roller coaster. The surgery went well. The lymph nodes were all clear. So that was great news. It's all kind of guesswork until your tumors are out and then they go to a lab and they really look at all the characteristics and determine what your treatment plan is. For some reason I thought somebody would tell me what I needed to do. It's not like that. It's you could do this or you could do this. I went to a top research facility and they said, well, you're in the gray area. Our standard of care with one to three nodal involvement is chemo radiation. I just had the hardest time with that. You need to pump your body with poison for six months and we'll see if it works. It's not that I didn't want to do chemo. I'm not afraid of chemo, but if it isn't going to impact the outcome of my survival, this is my life. This is my children's life. How can I decide? We're joined now by Sam and her husband, Tom. Also joined by her doctor, surgical breast specialist, Dr. Christy Funk. And Sam and Tom, I can see how emotional this has all been. And obviously, you've been through so very much. What did you decide to do regarding the chemo? Well, I ultimately decided against chemo. There wasn't one oncologist that would say, look, based upon these st statistics and this evidence, if you do chemo, it will increase your survival rates. And at the end of the day, I just want to be alive for my boys. And I, and I want to talk about what a game changer this is in one second. But first of all, I, I love that you kept saying, we, we made this decision. And Tom, I noticed how emotional you were just watching that clip, because this is something you truly have decided on together. Is that fair to say? Absolutely. It's, um, we decided on it with our doctor, our team of doctors. So it wasn't just our decision. And I love that you came to this decision together.